Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and I am a drone pilot and today I have the FMS Mall for your entertainment. Let me tell you a little story about the mall. Well, back in the day, a year ago, when I started to fly RC planes for the very first time, one of my buddies recommended the mall to me because he says it's very good for beginners because it's a stole plane, short takeoff and land plane, which means it's going to sit well in the air at slow speeds. You don't have to go really fast. It's not going to fall out of the sky. It's going to keep on floating. Well, I did buy them all. I bought the E-Flight one, which is red in color, but they don't make that one anymore. But now FMS makes it and it's blue in color, but it's pretty much identical to the E-Flight model of the past. The mall is a real plane in civil aviation. You know, it's built in the USA. The real one is built in the USA and it comes in different models like an M4, M5, M6, and M7. I think this is modeled after the M7 mall. But the bonus with this model made by FMS is that it's got a nice clear windshield. You can see the pilot inside. It's got a monster size wing span of 1500 millimeters but it's not very long you can fit this in your car you just put the nose down it it will fit in your back seat it has huge wheels and a very powerful motor so that's why i'm sitting on grass because i don't need a runway to launch this and when you buy this model it also comes with floats and those floats allow you to take off and land on water as well as take off and land on snow now the other great thing about this plane is that you can run it on a 3s lipo battery or a 4s lipo battery and it doesn't matter the size of the lipo batteries because you're going to get a long flight time but wind is not my enemy today because with a stole plane you take off into the wind so within three feet you're up in the air pretty much and when you land you land into the wind with a stole plane if you put the flaps on you can almost drop out of the sky straight down hardly moving forward and land so uh, let's go fly this okay first we're going to take it up with a 3s battery so the battery goes right in this little compartment pull the switch and open that up attach the battery stick it inside so i'll connect the battery really quick there we go. And then I'll stick it inside. Now, when you put the batteries in the mall, push them all the way to the front. Now that a battery's in, I don't know if my GoPro picks it up, but you have a little indicator light here on this wing. Let me show you the other wing. Go over really quick. That one was green and this one is red. Hopefully my GoPro picks that up. And you should have another indicator light here. This is a takeoff landing and fog light right here. I don't know. Can you see it? I'll put my hand to block some of the light. There we go. So it's pretty cool when you fly in the evening with this. Now let's check the wing surfaces. So we have ailerons. And they're pretty small, but look at the flaps. They're huge. Look at these flaps. They're monster size. Oh my God. They're like big brakes. Yeah, wow. And in the back, of course, you have your elevator. And of course, you have your rudder back there. All right, we're pretty much set to go. Motor runs. Yep. All right, I don't know if you can see it. Right over there is a camera. My camera's probably zoomed into me, so it means my plane has to take off before hitting that camera. So what I'm going to do is arm it, and I'm going to give it flaps. And I think we're good. So it should jump up in the air in no time at all. Maybe three or four or five feet. Here we go. Timer start. There we go. Time remaining. Going away up minutes. and we'll just spin it really slow. There we go. Coming down to the ground and back up and I'm in the sun blinded. <laughs> Not a good idea to do that in the sun. There we go. Coming down low. It's going with the wind now so it's bouncing around a little bit. Going by. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna try a little touch and go. I'm gonna turn it. It's almost stopping in the air right there. And I'll turn it. I'm gonna bring it down to the ground, coming Time right at me. Time remaining three minutes. Timer stop. I don't even have the flaps on yet. Oh, look at it. It's just so slow. Coming down, touch. Touch, 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 touch. Well, Time that's <laughs> I waited too long. We'll go back over. If I did that with the flaps on, it would be even slower. My God, it's just so slow, this plane. I'll bring it down even slower and lower this time. Okay, Timer here we go. stop. Make sure I don't hit those trees over there. Okay, now we're landing. One wheel touch, and we go back. So this is a Maiden. I've never flown the blue one before, but it flies the same as the red one. And uh, this time, because a lot of people always ask me, why don't you use the flaps? Okay, I'll use the flaps, but it will go slow. So what I'll do is I'll turn it at me, come over those trees way over there. Try not to hit the trees. Slowing down, coming down again, and flaps. It's gonna balloon a little. Timer stop. Timer okay. start. I'm going to try to Timer slow it down. Stop. Oh, it's just so slow. I can't get it down. It just wants to keep gliding. Timer stop. There we go. Go straight up. Flaps off. Minutes. Like if you wanted to fly it around the field at walking speed, you probably could. Oh, and here's, here's full blast on 3S. Okay. Let me just bring it up my head. Okay. Full blast. I've got it. Full blast. See the lights? So 3S is not bad. Look at the speed you get. 
It is pretty decent. Bring it around again. And this time I'm gonna land it and uh, then I'm gonna put a 4S battery in it. I'm gonna crank it up in the sky. I'll put the flaps on. There we go. Time, timer start. I've turned the throttle off. I'm gonna try to get it down with no throttle. It's gotta get over the tree, but the flaps are on. <laughs> it's just falling out of the sky. Oh my God, it's almost stopping timer, right there. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta put some motor to bring timer, it forward. Timer, timer start. <gasps> Timer stop. Timer hang on, stop. I got it, I got it. I almost got it, I almost got it. Timer stop. There we go. There we go. Holy cow. With the flaps on, it just stops dead in the air. I couldn't bring it over. It wouldn't fly anymore. It just stopped there. And that's only half flaps. So I can imagine full flaps. It'd be craziness. All right, let's switch uh, batteries. And now the 4S battery. This is just going to let us fly faster and with more authority. Plug in the 4S. 4S is in. Oh, the motor just goes on this now. All right, let me put a little bit of flash. She's gonna go straight up in the air. Timer, st timer start. I'm gonna show you the speed on 4S. I'm gonna bring it around. This is, uh, I wouldn't, as a beginner, I wouldn't fly it on 4S, but here's 4S. It's just insanely fast. You can even hear it, it's just like growling. Wind does not affect it on 4S because it's just so fast. Bring it down. 20 seconds. Oh, my timer, I forgot to reset it. So I don't even know when I'm at five minutes. Oh, darn. Okay. Let's bring this down low and slow. And let's come around at me this time. Ignore the timer. Coming at me. And I'm gonna bring it down so we can see it. Okay. Timer expired. Here we go. Full blast. There she goes. Now, of course, Although you have all that power, it just means you can get out of trouble faster and also into trouble faster. So let me do this. Let me just slow it down a little bit here and bring it around and see if I can do a nice little touch and go. Timer stop. There we go. Timer stop means no throttle because I forgot to set up my radio properly, but there we go. We're coming down low and slow. Look at this thing. Timer Got to go up because we have a goal post there. <laughs> but, <laughs> all right, so what I'm going to do now is land it because I think I've had my fair share of flying them all in the wind. I'll take it farther out for a nicer landing. Let's go far out, full blast. Oh God, it's so fast. It's like a race plane in 4S. Okay, way out there. And now we're going to come in a nice landing. Turning, turning. Minus one minute. Minus one minute, Timer coming down. Stop. Timer start. Stay away from the trees. Timer, time, timer stop. Try to bring it over to me. I'm gonna to try to get as close as I can to me. Just let it glide over here. Timer start, timer stop. Over, 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 over Time, there. Timer stop. We went right over there. Oh, she did a bounce. <laughs> Into the wind. So even in this grass, you could drive it along the grass. Stop. And bring it over to me over here. And there we go. We're done. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is what comes in the box when you buy this, because it doesn't come in a box all assembled. You have to assemble it yourself. So I'm gonna show you what comes in the box, and then I'm gonna show you quickly how to assemble it. It'll take no time at all, because this is very advanced for assembly. Watch this. This is the box the mall is shipped in, and inside the box, you'll see everything is nicely packed. Inside the box, you'll find the instruction manual, the main fuselage, and you'll notice that the electronics are already installed, the graphics, as well as the pilot. You'll also find your main wings, as well as your horizontal stabilizer and vertical stabilizer, the wing spar, the landing gear, and the propeller assembly, as well as a bag of hardware and connector cables. The mall has the reflex stability system, so a USB-C cable is included just in case you want to reconfigure it. And finally, you receive the float assembly, which you can install so you can take off and land on water or take off and land on snow. And now let me show you how easy it is to assemble this plane. First, take the main landing gear, fit it into the slot, take the two brackets and two screws, tighten everything, and it should look like this. Next, flip your plane over and locate the wing spar. Slide the wing spar through the main fuselage. Locate the wires coming out of the wing and the wires coming out of the fuselage. Match them up with the writing and connect them all together. Then slide the wings into the wing spar. Flip the plane over and secure the two wings with the included four screws. Next, secure the two wing supports to the fuselage. Now attach the horizontal stabilizer and secure it in place with the one screw. Then slide the vertical stabilizer into position and secure it in place with two screws. Flip the plane over and secure the two wing supports for the horizontal stabilizer to the fuselage. Next, connect the control rod from the servo to the elevator and connect the second control rod from the servo to the rudder as seen here. The two antennas are just slid into position, no glue required. 
To install the propeller assembly, first install the base, next install the propeller, make sure the writing is facing forward, then install the locking nut and make sure it's tight. Finally install the spinner and lock it in place with the included screw. All you have to do now is add a receiver, bind it to your radio, charge up a battery and go fly. You're back to me in the Blue Mall. What can I say? I say this is a great plane for beginners who are just starting with RC planes because it, it can fly slow and it's not going to tip over in the air. I wouldn't get it as your first plane because it's quite large. I would get it as maybe your second plane if you're a beginner. And of course, it's also good for pros. If you're a pro, you can fly this thing and do amazing, amazing things with it. There's a lot of videos on YouTube of people flying this plane through small passages in the woods and doing things that are just, you wouldn't even believe, but you can do it with this plane because it is a stole plane and it can do some pretty cool things at slow speed and high speed so with all that said i'm going to put links to this product below oh i should also mention you can get this with reflex reflex is a stability system uh, up here i'll put that orange box mine has it i used it in the wind it seems to work because the wind was knocking the plane around i just put the reflex on so it would help with the not flopping all over the place so the wind's picking up it's getting pretty cold because we're almost in december so i'm going to let you go and post this video but for now i say thanks for watching this and if you have questions on this plane post them below if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i'll be back with many more reviews of drones helicopters planes and uh, maybe rc cars all right catch you in the future bye